Hello once again, my mastermind friends. I'm Bob Clark. Taking another day to do another little video here for us. This week, Dr. Bob showed us about the things of mindset that we're supposed to talk about on Sunday night when we meet. And yesterday I did a little video because I had got a book in from Todd Falcone, which the name of that book was called The Fearless Networker. And in that book, he shared some things with us uh, in that book with me that I learned about how our mindset would be to make ourselves better, to make us, um, our beliefs stronger, to get us uh, wherever we go into that type of business, whatever it is. He says, have a belief in those things. And those few four things that we talked about very briefly yesterday was that we were to have a belief in the profession of networking. If that's what business you're in, whatever it is, affiliate marketing or whatever, believe in that business. In other words, agree to that. And then believe in the opportunity or the company that you're working for. Also, I talked about having belief in the product that you sell. Having bought it, used it, you confirm it, you can give testimony to it. And then having belief in yourself. Today, I'd like to go just a little bit further as he goes in the next chapter. And I reviewed this just a little bit. He gives us six ways in the next few chapters there that we can build our beliefs. Now, I'm only going to cover two today because of the time limit we want to stay into our video here in trying to do the um, daily um, mode of operation. I forgot what it was there for a moment. And the first thing we want to talk about that he shares with us in his book is that he says that the immerse yourself in success that is what he means is that as your beliefs grow you grow and your beliefs change but you become stronger as you change the way to do this is to get around people who are successful to read about people that are successful that have the the biographies that they've done that, that are in the business that they've done such as people that we're even working with now and are, that are in this mastermind group that are in the groups that each of us belong to that we know Believe in those things there and become a sponge, he says. In other words, learn what it means to have success. Now, I don't mean a degree that this person has $6 million and that's success to him and you might only have 100000 and that's success to you. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the principles that are there that lead you to success. Believe in those principles and get them into your life into your mind and into work in your life get around those people mostly though that support you that lift you up cut out all the negative stuff or people because those are the ones that drag you down cut those out of your life and help yourself to grow by doing that you get rid of negativity therefore getting rid of extra excess weight and you're better off when you do that the second thing he talks about in his book is to actively build your knowledge and to put it to use. Now, we've heard it said all the time, knowledge is power. You know, we used to hear that even in the G.I. Joe way back in the cartoon days that my son was growing up and that was saying, and that's half the battle. Well, my friends, knowledge in and of itself is totally useless. You can have a book that's this thick and if sitting full of knowledge, and if it sits on the shelf up here, it's totally useless. You can take that same book, put it in your brain. If it sits on a shelf in your brain and you never put it to work, it is totally useless. So every time that you get a piece of knowledge, a little bit, of whatever it might be, you know, put it to work. Get out to it right then and, and put it to work and figure out how it works. I'll give you an example that they showed us when we changed computer systems in our work. They had us to go in, we sat down, we watched videos, 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 day after day after day, and I finally told him, look, it's not going to sink in until you put that keyboard in front of me and let me work with that system. And once they did, I put that knowledge to work at the same time, and I became very proficient with that computer program. And that's the same way it is with knowledge of whatever it is that you're working with. When you develop, you get that knowledge in your head, 
and you put it to work, your belief develops with that. And you get those actions that come along with whatever it is you're doing that becomes a hand-eye coordination, a hand-eye mind coordination. As you just look at it, you put it together and it goes to work. Now I want to stop there today because it's probably about three or four minutes here. It might even be longer by now. And I want to encourage you that if you have found value in this video today, and I hope that it has helped, has helped you to have a, learn a couple of ideas of how to build your belief in yourself, then share this with somebody. Make a comment below in the section below when you find this on Facebook. Or you can email me if you would to tell me those comments if you don't want to be uh, out in the open. Or you can send me a personal message. Whatever. I hope you found this useful for today. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.